she is genetically required to have a herd leader. And this is a herd of two, you and your horse. Me and Tilly, we are a herd of two. She needs me to be the leader, or if I'm not, then she has to be the leader. And that is a point of stress and concern for horses. Horses would rather be in a position of comfort. They are looking for the leader. When your horse rubs on you and moves your feet, that isn't affection. That is disrespect. But that horse is disrespecting in a way that, are you the leader today? And if you're not, I'm going to move your feet. There's the key. He who moves the other's feet first is in control. So I must be the one that controls the movement of her feet in order to identify myself to her as the herd leader. It is provoking her instinct to recognize me as the herd leader. No, now that was a nibble, no teeth. And she's, she's looking to taste me. And there's a big difference. And we'll talk about that later between biting, nibbling, whether she needs dental work, it's possible that she does. But getting back to status, I, we all have status. As humans and our jobs, in our home, you have a position of status. With your herd of two, your status is herd leader. Always, always, always.